All right, welcome to the uh, tab walkthrough for the tune, the song Cripple Creek. So, a uh, banjo, another banjo rite of passage. Uh, Cripple Creek is one of those songs that most banjo players learn pretty early in their banjo playing journey. Um, so, this of course is one of the uh, tunes in the uh, Clawhammer Vault, and um, <clears throat> and uh, this is a level three to four version. It's the version that I played uh, for the tune of the week. Um, and uh, for those who are watching this on YouTube, uh, if you don't have the tab for it, there is a link uh, to it in the video description. Um, so you can grab that. It will actually give you the entire uh, Clawhammer Banjo top ten book of tabs. So those are... Uh, uh, t 10 uh, tunes compiled by votes based on the uh, Clawhammer Tune of the Week series on uh, YouTube. So, 10 great tunes to learn, and this is one of them. Um, let's see, and, and also in the uh, video description, you'll find uh, a uh, link to an article about how I recommend using the tab to learn uh, so, that it, uh, so that it allows you to, to learn a great tune, to understand the tools and techniques of Clawhammer Banjo without undermining... Uh, your ultimate goal is to maybe learn to be able to play these things uh, by ear and create your own arrangements and and prevent uh, the dreaded tab dependency. So anyhow, uh, check that out. And also, uh, if you want to make sure you're alerted to these workshops when they occur, uh, there I hold them regularly. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the Clawhammer uh, Banjo channel. Um, and if you're if you enjoy these workshops and you want to be to, them to continue. Uh, then click the just uh, hit the thumbs up button uh, when you're watching this. All right, so let's get started uh, with YouTube. Let me, I mean, with YouTube, with Cripple Creek. Cripple Creek. Uh, That's the uh, that's the basics uh, <coughs> uh, of the uh, arrangement we're going to be uh, learning, and uh, there's also speaking of that uh, a link to the original tune of the week video that I played, uh, Cripple Creek, uh, which is also this arrangement. So um, let's get started. If you have comments or questions as I'm working through this, feel free to use the comment box, uh, and um, so I will change my view here. To actually, before I do that, let's first make sure we're in the right tuning. So, um, this is Cripple Creek is usually played uh, as an A tune. So, uh, that's because that's where fiddle players will want to play it if you're playing along in a jam with a fiddle player. So, uh, I can cons it's considered an A tune now. Uh, on the banjo, that means playing usually out of standard A tuning, which is really standard G tuning, just moved up two frets. So that's the tuning I'm going to be showing this in, and that's the tuning you'll see on the tablature. But if you were to tune your banjo to standard G tuning, G, D, G, B, D, and play it the tab as is, it would sound fine. It just will be in the key of G. So if you're playing it along with a fiddler who's playing in the key of A, your notes won't be the same. All right, so if you're going to do that, you want to be in the key of A. So I'm going to be demonstrating it here in the key of A, which is why I've got a capo here on my second fret. So that's going to be E on the fourth string, A on the third, C sharp on the second, and an A on the fifth. Now, let me switch views, off with my head, up with the tab. Okay, so this is the uh, beginning of the tab. Again, you can download this through the link in the video description. Um, and so, uh, and then I will also be uh, denoting wherever I am in the tab with, by moving this little blue box. So wherever you see the blue box is the current measure that I'm working on. 
All right, so first measure, we're gonna start with that iconic slide that starts Cripple Creek. Every banjo player, whoever plays it, probably starts this way, uh, probably thanks to Earl Scruggs. So, um, so it's a slide from the second fret of the first string um, to the fifth fret of the first string. And I use my middle finger to do that. And then I follow that while maintaining my finger on the fifth fret. I play that string followed by a thumb on the fifth. So that's. And now, we're actually gonna syncopate that note. So what, what I'm effectively doing with this next little bit is taking this fifth string note and turning that into that into a melody note. Instead of going where that would be the melody note, I'm taking that fifth string note and turning it into the melody note by syncopating. So it's um, and so that's why you're going to see that drop. I mean, you're going to see a skip stroke next uh, to let that melody note stand out, and then that's going to be followed by a thumb on the open second string. So that's. So again, fifth string, skip stroke, oops, sorry, fifth string, skip stroke, down to the second. And then open, op, uh, release my uh, finger off that fret, play open first, followed by fifth string. So that whole first measure, oops, sorry. <laughs> One more time. Okay. Um, and now, second, we'll move to the second measure. Uh, this chord is stitch chord change, so I'm going to form this uh, what is a D chord in this in this tuning. Uh, if you were in standard G, you might think of this as a C chord. Uh, so it's an index on the first string of the second fret, middle. I mean, ring finger on second fret of the first string, middle finger on second fret of the fourth string. So fingering in that shape, I'm going to play first string and then a drop thumb to the second string, first string, fifth string. So those four notes. And then I'm gonna release, we're gonna change back to the uh, A major chord, which is the open strings. Play the first uh, string open, followed by a brush thumb. Let me make that up. There we go. That's the, that's the uh, fifth string there, so that whole measure. All right, now we're gonna do that slide, third string, second fret, fourth string. Second fret, I mean to, to third string, second fret, to fourth fret of the third string, and then a brush thumb. Then back to second fret, play a pull off to the open string, again, and then move to the first, I mean to the fourth fret, do a pull off from the second fret to the open. So that whole measure, again. Okay, so we've done that pull off. We're gonna skip the next stroke and then put our thumb on the fifth. So with the two preceding notes, we get, and that's another syncopation. And then we're gonna go back to that second fret of the fourth string, do another pull off, and then to the open third. All right. And then, oh, sorry, I actually uh, just realized that we did. Oh, <laughs> let me uh, that let me back up there because I played the second time through, and I play and I have this tabbed out for the first time through a little bit differently. So let's go back to that uh, first measure. So we're uh, we're beginning with the slide, and now the second measure of the song, I actually do this. I play again. I'm still fingering that same chord. Um, we're just going to play second uh, string and follow that what with a pull off on the first string. So you'll see that uh, that uh, that that open first string there is to actually be pluck. Basically, you're plucking it with a finger of your fretting hand. So playing second string and then pulling off the first string. Then you're going to put your finger back on the second fret of the first string, and then play the, that plus the fifth. So that little, those four notes, and then open first, followed by brush thumb. All right. Now the third measure, same slide, 
same uh, first, fifth, uh, first string, fifth string. Skip stroke to the open second, and then open first followed by fifth string. So exactly the same as the first measure. And now pull off from the third string second fret to the open third, then the fourth uh, fret of the, th of the fourth string to the open fourth. So those four notes. And then open third, followed by brush thumb. So everything you see at the top of the screen sounds like this. One more time. Okay, so that's the first four measures. Let me just pause for questions. Hopefully I haven't irrevocably confused anybody. All right, so now let's get back to, um, so this is what I initially, these are the measures that I went through first, uh, but this is actually the second pass through the A part. Okay, so again, we started the same slide we already demonstrated. That whole measure is the same. And then like I showed you before, we do this uh, first string, then a drop thumb to the second string, and then first string, fifth string, then release, play open first, followed by brush thumb, and then this uh, same as before, the uh, uh, slide from the third string, second fret to the fourth fret, followed by brush thumb, and then those two pull offs, third string, second fret, and then fourth string, second fret. And then skip stroke, then play the fifth string. Then uh, pull off from the fourth string second fret to the open fourth. And then the open third. So everything you see at the top sounds like this. I'm gonna play those last two measures again so you can kind of hear that syncopation. Like that, so that's the it's it's worth that little skip stroke uh, figure there. I think to get that nice syncopated sound. Okay, just uh, just for good measure. That's our melody. Just so we have that, so you have that in your head. That's the that's the melody that you're playing, and then the rest of the stuff is kind of decorations and and syncopations. So let's go to the uh, B part now. Super straightforward. Um, and Cripple Creek's kind of like a half length fiddle tune. Um, so there's not a whole lot to it, but it's beloved. Maybe that's part of why it's become a uh, er something early to play in, in your uh, banjo playing journey. So the, um, the uh, here's the basic melody for that B part. That's it, and it just repeats. Okay, so that so to dress that up a little bit, we can slide to that first note, second fret of the third string, to the fourth fret of the third string, followed by a brush thumb, then a pull off, second fret of the third string, to the open, followed by a brush thumb. So that whole measure. Sorry, that whole measure's just. Okay. And then we move to the next measure. Do that same slide again. Followed by brush thumb. Then the open fourth. And then the uh, hammer on from the open third to the second fret of the third. So that whole measure. Oops, sorry. One more time. And then this next measure, same uh, uh, opening slide again, three measures in a row, we're doing the same thing. 
And then those successions of pull-offs, which we've already done on the third string and then the fourth string. And then also, we're gonna do that same little syncopation we did earlier, skipping that first note of this last measure, playing the fifth string, and then pulling off second fret of the fourth string to the open fourth. And then open third. Now, if this is our first pass through the B part, we're gonna play that, uh, op that little um, hammer on that we started with um, the first time through. So the third string open, and then the second fret, and then we go back. And now we would close it the second time through with this final measure, which is just same skip stroke to thumb on the fifth, then pull off from second fret of the fourth string to the open fourth, and then open third. That closes the tune. <clears throat> um, if you were going to be running back and playing through it again, to back to the A part, after that open third, just play a brush thumb and then go back to your opening slide. Okay, and that's it. That's, uh, that's it for this arrangement. Now, of course, there's a gazillion different ways you can play this. Uh, this is kind of to uh, get uh, so that you understand the sound that uh, what uh, how I played it in that original version, and kind of how you can take this uh, simple little melody and dress it up in a number of different ways, um, and learn how to play these little syncopations. Uh, before I go, I will um, I'm just gonna play through the tabs slowly for you. Let's see. Just get it to where I can see the whole thing, and you can disregard what you see at the top now. Let's see, I'll move out my view. Just want to make sure I play it as it's written. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to just play through the tab. Uh, we'll start with the A part. Sorry. Okay, so that's it. Play it slowly. Um, if you are watching this in the Brain Joe virtual classroom, uh, you have any questions about it, please feel free to put, them, uh, put those in the comment box at the bottom. Uh, and if you have any uh, suggestions uh, for other songs that you would like for me to cover, uh, uh, please let me know. And you can see the full uh, schedule of upcoming workshops by going to clawhammerbanjo.net forward slash schedule. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next workshop.